they're sending out um, armed police against peaceful, unarmed students who simply want answers, who simply want to have access to funding to be able to live in the space. <laughs> One of the 120 universities that participated not only in the Million Student March, but also in a demonstration to show solidarity for the University of Missouri. I mean, how ridiculous can it get? The committee which was meant to expand the number of fellowships expand the amount of fellowship, expand the range of financial aid programs, actually ends up curtailing it. This democratic state has sought to present students as a bunch of hooligans, a bunch of rascals, you know, who have got nothing, no real legitimate struggle to wage. Students are protesting about the high amount of fees. If you exclude me financially, where else must I go? Free education has to be on the table. It has to be on the table. If we are saying that education is in fact the key that, that grants people access, then you can't, you can't hide the keys. This We've been backed into a corner. We have got no other option now but to take to the streets and shut down these institutions. Our struggle is so unbalanced that people, the people find new ways. They find new ways to communicate their message. Put out about these protests all around um, the country is how deeply linked they are to other issues that relate to transformation in the country. So the struggle for for the reduction of fees is not isolated to the struggle for institutional transformation, the struggle for economic transformation in the country. The notion of institutional culture comes in because everything about the institutional culture, everything about the way the, the, the universities are set up, not only just in their systems, but just in their environment, in their in their texture, everything about it says that you you're not you're not supposed to be here. Whenever black bodies uh, go outside of the bounds of um, of colonial policing, that is the kind of response that you're going to get. This is 2015, but we feel like we're in the 1980s right now. Um, how can this be? How is it that we're in a society where when black students are saying? listen, we want to have access to education, we want to have access to our funding that we were promised to by Nesfus, and yet this is the response that is given. UGC ने scholarship के लिए net qualify करने की योगिता को अनिवारे किया, तो छात्रों का गुस्सा सड़कों पर उतर आया. The things that we are seeing about the kind of violence that the police is using on the student, the police are using on the student, is very reminiscent of apartheid violence. When, during apartheid era, when students would go and protest for very legitimate issues, the government would respond with the use of excessive violence, excessive force and all of that. Who's the Hitler? This is the leader of the movement that murdered Mahatma Gandhi and murdered the idea of India as a pluralist, multi-ethnic, multi-faith country. He comes from this RSS fascist formation, the carry the swastika, they believe in Hitler's ideas of supremacism. The taxpayer has spent, I don't know how many millions, today and tomorrow, defending a man who is frankly indefensible. The blood uh, is the reason for the red carpet in Downing Street right now. Similar approach.
protest rallies have been held uh, at about 100 college campuses across the United States. Really is a response in terms of barring students from access to education, but also barring them from the right to actually protest. And so what we're finding now is that this increased violence is actually threatening the lives of students and management has failed to step up and to protect the students. Really for, for working class black and brown people, it is, CUNY is the only opportunity they have. And slowly, like slowly but surely, they're being locked out of that. And it's got to stop now. They are protesting about how expensive it became for students, especially those from immigrant families, low-income families, to get a higher education in this country. Student protest movement called the Million Student March. This is the fifth such a rally being held in New York City on Thursday alone. Uh, these students are speaking up against racial issues. They're closely watching the events unfolding in Missouri. Because they can't afford to go or they're just unable to go because the university does not provide those opportunities for them to continue their higher education. It's just intergenerational inequalities to transfer student movement is really picking up. Black Lives Matter movement has exploded, you know, over the past year and a half. The fight for 15 is picking up and just there's this real energy right now in society to fight back against the status quo. It's definitely, again, the inter intersectionality between race and economics is there. Shikshaki Raja.